Good morning. This is Pastor Tim Wells, pastor of Cross of Christ Lutheran Church in Aurora, Nebraska. This coming Sunday, our gospel reading is going to feature Jesus teaching about prayer. Jesus is praying by himself, and when he's done, his disciples find him, and they say, Teacher, can you teach us how to pray? And the first thing Jesus says in answering that request, he says, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive everyone who is indebted to us, and lead us not into temptation. You might recognize those words, that's an abbreviated form of what we today call the Lord's Prayer. I thought this week for our devotions, and we can go a few different directions each day, we'll see see where scripture and where God leads us. But I thought we could talk about prayer this week. And today I wanted to talk about that opening part of the prayer. Our Father who art in heaven. I wanted to look at Luther's small catechism and his explanation of this introduction to the prayer. It's beautiful. Our Father who art in heaven, what does this mean? With these words, God tenderly invites us to believe that he is our true Father and that we are his true children, so that with all boldness and confidence we may ask him as dear children ask their dear Father. Every time you pray the Lord's Prayer, you start off with those words, Our Father. You are confessing an amazing truth. That God is not just some spiritual being out there wandering about, really not caring about what's going on down here. But he is your loving father, waiting for you to come to him and ask for his help. Ready to pick you up in his arms at a moment's notice and wipe away every tear. Ready to provide for every single one of your needs. Always wanting what's best for you. God is our father. And he encourages us to come to him every day in prayer, with every concern, with every request, with every fear, with every worry, with every doubt, with every tear shed, with every moment of joy and excitement. God wants us to trust him as our father, to come to him and give him our prayers, trusting that he'll hear our prayers and answer them. Our Father who art in heaven. As I said this week, we'll talk about prayer. Today I want to encourage you to take some time to pray and to focus on those opening words of the Lord's Prayer and your prayers. Our Father. What does that mean to you? that God is your Father. How does reflecting on that truth maybe change or influence how you pray and where your heart is, where your thoughts are as you pray, as you focus on God as your Heavenly Father? Let's pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you that you are indeed our Father who loves us, who hears our prayers, who every day provides for our needs. Teach us, Lord, to trust you as children trust their earthly fathers. Teach us, Lord, to come to you with every need, every request, every joy, trusting that you will hear our prayers and answer them. In your name we pray. All right, so the rest of this week we'll talk more about prayer. Until then, hope to see you tomorrow. Amen.